Hi everyone, on Saturday I was a bridesmaid in a wedding, so I did my makeup, I did a full glam, which I, on our everyday basis, do my makeup much lighter, but did like a full coverage glam with lashes. It looked so good, it looked so amazing in pictures. I had a lot of people on my Instagram ask me to do a tutorial on how I did that makeup, so I am going to be doing it today. I'm not going to apply lashes today because I am actually going out and I don't wanna wear lashes to where I'm going, but I was wearing the Ardell Naked Lashes and I will get the exact style of Ardell Naked Lashes, but this particular style from Ardell is so nice. The band is so thin. I'm like pretty positive they're synthetic, which is also good and they are just so lightweight and fluffy and gorgeous and i got a ton of compliments on them so yeah i'll figure out the exact name of those lashes i just applied my osea day glow face oil and now i'm gonna go in with my milk hydro grip primer but yeah the wedding was so fun it was for my good friend maddie we went to high school together basically our whole high school friend group was there so that was fun it was like a little reunion because it's been a long time since we've all been together like that we got graduated high school in 2015 we've stayed in contact a lot of us don't live in like the area that we grew up in a lot of their families stayed local so whenever they come visit their families we'll try and i'll see each other i'm just going in now with the elf halo glow and i love the elf halo glow for underneath of my makeup for my foundation i wore the catrice hd liquid coverage foundation this is mattifying water and sweat proof and it's made with niacinamide. I wear the shade 35 natural beige. I feel like in some lighting, it looked a little bit deep, but not too much. Like no one would be like, oh wow, her foundation is really not matching her. But I did kind of enjoy the fact that it was a little bit deeper, like half a shade deeper than my skin tone because in like flash photos and everything, it makes your face look the same exact color as the rest of your body. Obviously, you want to make sure that your neckline is blended. You don't really need to bring it down all the way into your neck, but just make sure that the jawline especially is smooth because that's, you know, always a dead giveaway. But I think that this foundation is going to be my new go-to, like, special occasion full coverage foundation. It is just so gorgeous and lightweight, and it looks amazing in photos. It's easy to apply. The shade is a good shade for me, and it is extremely, extremely long wearing. I'll have to insert a picture of what I looked like when we got home at like 11.45, right before I took my makeup off. But honestly, I was still looking pretty good, and I owe it to the makeup. I just applied my Kosas Revealer Concealer, and I also went in with a little bit of my Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. I just have a mini one of it. It's medium 35N. I don't really know why exactly I layered these concealers, but I did. I'm actually getting ready to go see my friend Bibi. She invited me to an outdoor voices little event, like their holiday party. They just opened up a Outdoor Voices store. I know she's been a couple of times. I've never shopped Outdoor Voices before. I've been on their website, obviously. And there's been a couple of things that I've wanted. Like I know that those little dresses were really popular. I really wanted one of those pant sets that like the layered pant sets that you can zip. I'm going to apply a little bit of lip balm. This is actually from Rode. This is the peptide lip treatment and my friend Courtney got it for me. When I did my makeup for the wedding, I forgot to bring eyeshadow primer, which is so unlike me. Like I don't forget things. Yeah, I just ended up putting like concealer on my eyelid and then setting it really good with powder. It was not a big deal, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bake a little bit underneath my eyes before I go in with my eyeshadow because I am using a sparkly eyeshadow and you don't want to make a big old mess underneath of your like freshly done face makeup. I don't wear like a ton of powder, but yeah, when I'm doing something, I'm like having to do glam, full glam. I am powdering my skin for sure. Going in with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This is what I would have used if I had eyeshadow primer that day. But yeah, I was so thankful that baby invited me because she could invite a plus one. 
and I was so thankful that she thought of me. I'm like pretty certain that I used my Pacifica Pink Nudes Mineral Eyeshadow Palette. I know exactly what I did for my lid shade and I didn't like try anything new and this is very typical of what I do but I'm just going in with this brown touched all over the lid. This is actually the first time that I've had my makeup back since the wedding. I had to put all of my stuff that I brought to the wedding venue in my friend's car. And we were only able to meet up today for me to get it back. But, you know, the wedding venue kicks you out at a certain time. And we were not done. So, I needed somewhere to put my stuff. I think I did go into my Kaja Velvet Dream stack and I used the last shade in there. And then I just like, you know, lined my lash line with it a little. Got in there in the crease. I did not really try anything new for the wedding. My Bodyography Glitter Pigment in Off the Hook was just the star of the show. It's gorgeous. It's like, not like a golden bronze, more like a taupey bronze, which I find to be a little bit more flattering. Bridesmaids wore brown dresses and my eye look just looked amazing with the dress. I knew I wanted to do like a deeper brown smoky eye. I'm gonna take a little bit more on a brush just to kind of make sure everything is smooth. But I do like applying it with my finger. I added a little bit of the Laura Geller Gilded Honey right in the inner corner because I felt like I needed a little bit of an inner corner pop. I'm going to do my mascara and my brows after I do the rest of my face. For my bronzer, I was very fancy and I used my Chantecaille Real Bronzer in the shade Serena. I knew I wanted to pick a powder bronzer, but Specifically, the reason why I picked this one was because there is not ever a time where I can apply this bronzer and it goes on like chalky or patchy or it looks just too much. And it's not like it's not putting color into my skin like it totally is. But I don't know. The formula of this bronzer is just unmatched it's just so good and yeah i just knew i wanted to use this one because i knew it would look smooth no matter what when you're getting ready in a spot that is not your typical spot to get ready you don't know what the lighting situation is going to be like or anything like that so i wanted a foolproof bronzer and that's why i picked my Chantecai one. For my blush, I used my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Joy. I just thought that Joy would look really good with the browns. And I only did a little bit. And I just quickly blended it out. And I knew that this would be a really good blush to use because I do love like cream cheek products, but you know, Cream cheek products work really well with those more natural looks, but the liquid blushes from Rare Beauty, I feel like you can do both. You can do those more full coverage glam looks with these liquid blushes, and it's just like a super long wearing formula. So over top of my blush, I did add a little bit of this bronzer from Bare Minerals in Kiss of Pink. I just added a little bit over top just to kind of like set it, I guess. I don't know. And then I did go in with a little bit of highlight, which I don't usually wear anymore, but I just took that same Laura Geller Gilded Honey and I just applied it, you know, where the highlight goes. I'm just using my Kosas Airbrow. This is the best brow gel ever, 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 ever. And I just applied this through my brows first and then I filled them in wherever I needed. 
And this is my NYX Lift and Snatch. Yeah, I love putting the brow gel in my brows first and then going in with the brow pen just so I can see exactly where I need to add color. Yeah, I'm not wearing falsies tonight. That is just not my style. I feel like a wedding is very false lashes appropriate for me. Oh, and I did wear false lashes the night before the wedding. I kind of wanted to do like a wedding makeup trial before. This is the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara, and I'm going in with this one. Oh, it is so good to have this mascara back. It's like one of my favorite mascaras. This is your sign to get this mascara, like today. That's so good. Lastly for lips, I did my LA Girl Lip Liner. No surprise there. I used the Fenty Beauty Cookies and Cocoa Lipstick. This is not my favorite lip product by any means, but I just really like the shade of it and how comfortable it is and how easy it is to apply. Because we got ready in like the same place as the wedding venue, I just like did not bring a bag but i kept this on the table that we were sitting at and i just reapplied it throughout the night obviously like my lip liner had faded at that point but the lipstick was perfect and i love that it gives like a glossy appearance to the look and not like a regular matte lipstick i'm not gonna powder my face again i might have powdered again after i was finished but the main step now was and is always the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I was just spraying this on everyone after we were all done getting ready. I did like five other people's lashes and I texted everyone before the wedding and I was like, I have so many lashes and I do not mind sharing and I do not mind applying them. For my fragrance, I wore this vanilla fragrance from Anthropology, and it smells so good. I learned about this fragrance years and years ago from Jaclyn Hill. We don't talk about Jaclyn Hill anymore. Like, nobody really talks about Jaclyn Hill anymore. But, you know, back in the day, I used to love Jaclyn Hill, and she loved this fragrance picked it up years ago i had a bottle of it i used it all and then i just recently purchased a small one i'm gonna maybe wear should i wear hoops hmm why am i like not liking the look of that no i kind of like the look of it i think it's cute my outfit is really really basic and i need to figure out what i'm doing for my bag Okay, I have like 15 more minutes to get myself together and head out for the little event. But I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video and learning how I did my makeup for the wedding over the weekend. But that is going to be it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so. And hopefully I will see you next time.